Hello, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use a simple application called KeyPass to keep track of all your passwords, uh, both for the internet and also anything that you have on your PC. Um, in order to get this, you go to keypass.info slash download html or you can just type in key pass download uh, in any uh, browser and it should come right up to this page um, the classic edition uh, is a little more limited than the professional edition both editions are free uh, so i just go right to the professional edition and download so uh, if you're using windows you can click on the installer exe for windows which is right here and that's what I'm going to do and it'll take you to the download page at SourceForge and 210 okay it's downloading right now and in a couple seconds it should be downloaded and ready to install and there we go okay so I'm gonna double click on this and run the application or run the uh, install and Windows prompts and I'm gonna say yes on that and English is my preferred language welcome to KeePass next uh, click I accept the agreement and all the check marks here are good so just click next and associate key pass with the dot kb dx file extension uh, far as i know uh, key pass is the only one that uses that file extension so click next and install and it installs it optimizing key pass performance And there we go, launch key pass. We'll finish that. And now we'll browse away from our browser there. All right, so right now I already have a file in here. What I'm going to do is click cancel uh, because otherwise I'm going to be opening my existing file. I want to walk you through how to set up a different file so cancel there okay so now this is what we come up with in keypass I'm gonna click file and new and I get to uh, come up with a name for this file uh, we'll just call this test and save and then we want to come up with a master password for this file now uh, this is the password that you're going to use to get into your key pass uh, database which will have all your passwords in it so I recommend using a good strong password for this uh, I would go with at least eight digits in the password um, and the more uh, the more numbers and capitals and uh, other uh, digits that you can put in there such as like the exclamation mark the, the dollar sign that type of thing uh, the more secure it will be so I'm just gonna do a simple one here for the sake of this test okay and then we need to re-enter the password and as you can see uh, it, it gives you an estimated quality here all the way to the left is orange all the way to the green or all the way to the right is green um, of course you know we're only at 10 digits here um, so the more digits you have of course the more green it gets um, but this should be uh, pretty good I think for this um, now you have other options here for how to get into your database um, both of them are kind of limiting to one computer so I, I just recommend having one master password for everything uh, just keep this checked put your password in here and click OK and now uh, we come up with a, a name for the database which again 
is test. This is just going to show up um, in your uh, in your application itself. Um, and click OK. Okay, so here we are. This is where I just put that the name of the application. Um, so here we go. Now we've got some sample entries here. We can uh, do whatever we want here. Uh, I'm just going to go to Internet, and there's nothing in here right now. Now we can click this right here to add an entry. And let's say we want to put a, a cat password in for frugalberry.com. Uh, we put that in there. Now uh, KeePass automatically generates passwords for you when you add an entry. You can either accept the one that they have. Now if I click here you'll see what that is. So this is the, the password that it automatically generated for you. Um, you can of course toggle whether you want it to, hide, to be hidden or not. Um, so this is what it automatically generated. Um, and I'm just going to stick with that. Uh, actually, the, as you can see here, the, the bar goes from orange all the way to green. Um, the passwords that they generate are pretty good. Um, so I just recommend that you go with the, the pre-generated passwords. Um, you can put the URL name in here if you like, the HTTP. I, I can, you can put that all in here if you want. Um, you can also put notes in here. Uh, you know, some websites they have uh, security phrases and that type of thing. You know, what's your favorite dog? What's your favorite color? That type of thing. You can put that in here as a reminder for you. Um, so that's what we do, um, and we'll just generate that. Okay. So here we have frugalberry.com. Um, if I had put a username in there, let's just double click there. If I put a username in here, we'll say Carl. That would show up on that other page there. Okay. And these passwords are always going to be starred out unless you double click on that. Um, and then you can click here to see what the password is, or you can just highlight and control C to put it on your clipboard. And you cannot copy text from this password field. That's unusual. Okay. Uh, control C. Oh, okay, it wouldn't let me do it with the with the password hidden. Uh, I always use it with the password unhidden, so I guess that's the first time I've run into that. So anyway, um, control C copies it to the clipboard and then I could browse to wherever I wanted on the uh, on the internet where I wanted to put the password in and control V would put that password in for me. Um, and that's it, it's that simple. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna click OK here. Uh, now we can go to tools. Uh, there's some options here that we can select. Um, you, you can just look through here and see what the, what the different options are uh, for policy, for interface, integration, and advanced. Uh, I usually keep these at the default settings, um, but I just wanted to show you that you can change a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay. Um, so that's all there is to it. I keep uh, KeePass on my desktop pretty much open all the time. Um, then I can just go, you know, if I forget an email password or if I, uh, if I need to uh, go to uh, get, get an internet password or whatever, I can just click here, uh, control C, and go right into my, uh, 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 the, the place where you enter it, uh, wherever you need to put that password in. So that's pretty much KeePass. Uh, it's a great uh, application. It works on Windows systems and also Mac and uh, OS X and, uh, and Linux. So uh, different variations are available for all of them. As uh, far as I know, they work all pretty much the same. I've only used it in uh, on the PC myself. So uh, again, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. I uh, hope you'll check us out if you haven't already. And uh, Happy surfing!